this. Oh, nice. This guy makes it all So, Eddie is napping. So, I'm going to put on of the silverware, the Ziva's silverware, and um, put it in One of the totes, I don't know exactly where it went, oh it's right there. <coughs> Ow. So yeah, we're gonna go look at our new, one of the places tomorrow, and so yeah, um, we get the girls back after Caleb comes home at 2. So yeah, but uh, I'll catch you guys. Okay guys, so this is going to be another uh, pack with us vlog thing. So in the last clip, you guys saw that I um, packed up all of Ziva's silverware. Or Ziva, basically just the kids' silverware. Rather if it's Ziva's or Amrit's or when I have my nieces, my nieces, so all of that is in here, and it's going to be put into this box with all of the straws and plastic silverware as well, that way we know where it's at when we move. So, um, we are going to leave out the syringes and leave out most of the silverware, besides the stuff that we don't use, and then we're going to be putting it in basically this miscellaneous box. But for now, most of everything is staying out in the kitchen. I say most because a lot of the stuff can be packed away. So. And all of my cans from my can collection, um, are going to be in the miscellaneous box as well because in the kitchen um in our new place depending on how it's set up the cans are going to be in the kitchen area um demon's right here boat i found boat and caleb found boat and um she is in the bathroom we changed boat out for it. that way boat can gain some weight and if she doesn't we can take her to the doctor or to the vet, I should say. Eddie is shaving. Caleb's cleaning. Hi. Whoa! You're different. I can never get used to you shaving! Actually, it's no, not November. That would piss me off. So, we set up the strainers. We're going to be putting away the blue one, correct? Yeah. Okay. 
I just asked if it's right here. Okay. okay. I had to remember. I was like, which one do we fucking say? So, what do you guys want me to do with all of these? Leave them out, put them in the miscellaneous box. Put them in the miscellaneous box. So that way we know where they're at. You want to help me? Yeah. I can do that. Okay. It's different with the Give me. cross on it. It's heavier. Thank you. Of course. You're welcome for saving it. Yes, thank you for... I felt it hit my boot and looked down and instantly knew what it was because my chain was hanging like this. Oh. <laughs> I'm like... You're lucky I love you, cat. <laughs> Does it change that much in your facial when I shave? Yes. You look like 10 years younger. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you look like you're in your 20s. Now, think if I didn't keep it scruffy, how I would Like if I was clean shade? Mm hmm. So, basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting the dish, the sink ready to do dishes. So, I'm cleaning out the strainer putting away the cups that we're going to be using and putting away the cups that we don't use that often. And since Eddie is really tall, he will be helping us do everything else. <laughs> that involves a high, yeah. You sure about that? Yes. You're gonna do manly. No, you. but I know for a fact all you have to do is, Eddie, yeah. can you do this? And you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> I may tell you, nope, never in him do it, but it's good it's done. normally use to make juice with strainer is empty. I can one F2 to, to flip that again. Actually, Hi, 
so so far we're putting in a good dent in the living room. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to eat for supper. Delicious soak. And I'm gonna finish putting some stuff away. He asked where he put the dust pan in on I don't know. Oh. I've got to see it. So I play. I play the pain. It's kind of deep playing myself with it. Okay, Here's my thing. Balls this bitch ass. I know. Showing the progress that we're making, just in case the fire. Okay, landlord. guys. So we did a pretty good indent on the living room, which I am extremely happy for. The majority of it was trash. Not gonna lie. I have the shredder near me to shred some pages. If you guys can't tell, it's literally already full. And this thing doesn't overheat. Um. A lot it only takes about five minutes for it to cool down um, I just went through the file box and got rid of a bunch of papers those papers are all that I have left to shred and those are just discharge papers from when I was pregnant and I don't need them anymore the rest of the shit we could use and we could keep due to like potty training um, ideas on how to potty train and shit like that Daddy. How are they? Okay, guys. So we had a couple visitors, Jaden, Jarek, and um, Drake. They just came by to say hi. Jarek hasn't came over in a while, so and since everyone is chill and we don't have an issue with literally anyone anymore. I'm allowing them to start coming back over, especially since we don't have that long in the house anyways. Ziva is asleep. Caleb took Jaden home. Eddie is taking Jarek and Drake home. Or at least Jarek. Found out my ex-boyfriend is dating my ex-best friend, which I don't really care about anymore, you know, due to him being my ex, but Nice to know, never really pictured those two ever being the other, but whatever, and totally not my business. So don't think and don't come at me as if I, yeah, care, because I really fucking don't. But like I said, I just didn't expect them to be together. So our landlord is coming to check how much progress we've made on the house since we're leaving. One second, I'm gonna go set this up. Sorry about that, you guys. Her pacifier she fell out of her mouth. Ziva is already asleep. Um, when she got back from her grandma and grandpa's, she was very, very, very tired.
Caleb is making tacos for supper and I'm having macaroni and cheese with toast. Yes, so Caleb found Bo. Bo is okay. Now, um, so an update on my grandpa. So I made, I don't, I don't know if I made a video about what happened to him, but the day after my grandma ended up passing, he ended up falling and breaking his hip. Had to go to Sterling for surgery. And just recently, for grandma's funeral actually, so since October 31st, he has been uh, in the hospital here um, doing physical therapy. Well, turns out, literally today, um, my grandpa, I, the hospital thought that he was having a heart attack. It turns out it wasn't that. So they flight for life him to North Flat, where he is currently at now, and he has blood clots in his lungs. So they, um, while he was doing all of this, he had urine in his, he had blood in his urine. So after a while that kind of stopped, well, due to him having these blood clots in his lungs, they put him on blood thinners. Um, the blood thinners made him have urine in his, uh, blood in his urine again. So they're doing a bunch of tests, heart and lung tests, to see what the hell is going on. My mom was up there literally all fucking day long, but I'm assuming just recently gotten home. Because I'm like, any update on grandpa, like it's been all day, like I haven't heard shit. And she's like, I gave you the only updates that I knew, kind of just being a bitch to me. Because my mom and I were fighting prior. And she's still not over it, but honestly, I really care less now. Um, so she was, yeah, kind of being rude, but that's the only update that I have on him at the moment. I'll keep you guys updated as soon as I know more, but probably not going to get another update tonight unless something goes horribly fucking wrong, and then my mom will update me. So I'm going to show you guys what we have done so far. So, we swept and mopped, changed the litter box, they're cooking supper and everything, but that is already full of miscellaneous stuff. And then the living room. That's all the stuff that we have packed and are still going to pack. And Rolo's kennel is going to be full of the cat's stuff and the dog's stuff. Like, all of their toys, the temptations, like, literally fucking everything. That way we can just haul it all at once. But in the bathroom, or in the kitchen, sorry. I still need to clean these, this, and those two drawers, and that cabinet. We never got the chance to use those, and then obviously clean up everything here. Sorry. Um... Just to let you guys know what I have accomplished so far. And we gotta obviously clean out the fridge. And that cabinet, those two cabinets, those cabinets, whatever's left in the pantry, and obviously all of this. But other than that, the kitchen is completed. Um, so yeah, but we also gotta do a shit ton of fucking deep cleaning. Um... Because landlord is a fucking prick and I'm gonna be honest we didn't really take as good of care of this place as we really should have and I feel bad about that but at the same time I really could care less because he's kicking us out just saying um Wash something specific for supper, so I better, yeah, toss that in there. 
I'm going to pick up literally everything that I just dumped on accident. There we go. So we use this Dawn for our dishes, and then we use this soap for the girls' bottles and everything. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for a little bit. That way I can continue cleaning and I'll catch you guys here soon.